What's going on, dapper boys and girls? Uh, you can see I got a new angle. I got this little uh, suction cup mount that goes to my window that hangs my camera off of so I can get shots like I'm doing right now, which I think is pretty cool. And I'll use it for the first challenge we do. I feel like I keep saying in my videos that I'm going to get something done with my car and then it just doesn't get done. So hopefully today we're going to get my oil changed because I really need it. I mean, I'm about 3,000 over. I like to change it around 2,500. And um, reality, you don't need to change it that soon. But I like to keep the oil fresh. And hopefully we can find where the knock sensor is. And I hope it's just not a pain in the butt. And we can get to it no problem. But uh, we're going to go up to Force Fed Garage and see what everyone's doing. I'm sure Nick's working on the... The project car. It's coming along nicely. This has got to be one of the sassiest cars I have ever owned because um, the R models come with active suspension, so I got like different settings, comfort, sport, advanced, and it adjusts the, uh, the stiffness of the suspension. And then advanced is improved throttle timing. But when I first got the car, on and off all the time, I'd get a chassis settings service required message which means the uh, suspension just resets to default and it is bouncy and I don't get to use the settings. But it went away for a while, but now it's coming back again. So I don't know what's going on if I have a loose wire or something shorted, I don't know. Hey, you're using Dunkin' Donuts. How can I help you today? Could I please get one dozen assorted donuts? A dozen assorted donuts. Uh, hash browns? One order of hash browns? Just one, yeah. Okay. And then a small iced coffee, four cream, two sugar. That's a small iced, four cream, two sugar. And that'll be it. It's gonna be 1204. Thank you. Awesome. It's lunchtime, but we gotta bring some Dunkin'. So this is, we gotta bring some donuts to the garage. Caffeine's a very important part of the day. There it is. So at the drive-thru, I restarted my car, I shut it off, turned it back on, and the problem goes away. Sometimes it comes back, sometimes it doesn't, but it just keeps coming back. So that means, I'm kind of excited, that means BC Racing Boils, and I can drop this thing down lower. But the problem with that, um, there's a, uh, Acceleration sensors, I don't know what they're called specifically, but they're sensors in the struts. And in order to keep the whole system working throughout the car, like get that uh, different throttle body or, or throttle response in the advanced setting, you have to take the sensors out of those other struts and attach them somewhere to the BC racing coils. So what Vita's telling me is my right front sensor is going bad or is uh, losing voltage, which cuts the system out. So I don't know if I need all new struts or if I just replace that sensor and it'll be fine. So either way, whether I go to BC Racing Coils or keep these, I think I'll have to replace that right front sensor either way. Unless it's grounded somewhere uh, where the wires cut open and touch the metal, then I can just wrap it up and hopefully it's not corroded from water and it'll still work. But the difficult part is trying to find where it might be cut open and corroded. Getting a lot of work done. All those leaves were from uh, the back of Hunter's intercooler. It was an absolute mess. But right now, we're finally gonna try to get the silver trim off my car, that way we can get the black trim back on it. But before we get the black trim back on it, we're gonna paint it. I don't know when we're gonna do that. It's gonna be super rainy the next few days, so hopefully we'll find a nice day.
couldn't get the trim glue off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the oil change. I figured while doing my oil change, I'd pull the front bumper off. And got it dropped down. So my windshield washer fluid hasn't been spraying. And I think this pump is the reason why. So my 06 has, I believe, the same pump. So we're gonna see if that one works and if the pump is even the problem. It should just pull right out. It's raining out now, which is no good. It's gonna rain for the next like five days. But we got the front bumper back on. We're gonna finish the oil change, pull the filter out, fill it up with oil, and then we'll get it started to see if that new pump works. Good stuff. So I got my car together in time to get to class. I get to class and there's a sign on the door. There's a sign on the door that said class is canceled, which is great news, but I, I wish I checked my email beforehand to actually read that it was canceled, that way I didn't uh, waste my time going to class. But, I was able to stop at Little Caesars and grab a couple of pizzas for everyone. So now we're on our way back to the garage. I guess we're gonna, um, they're gonna be doing someone's transmission, pulling it out, doing something with it, I don't know. I think it's gonna be a big project, so we'll record that, get some more content than just time lapses and me talking to the camera in my car. I brought the pizza, where's the booty? What are you just doing? Do it again. Come here. Bella, Bella. I've never seen a car like this. His transmission goes in his trunk. <laughs> Mounted up so easily. Just took it right back out. Copyright music. It's okay, I don't get make money from this anyway. They were all working on the car, getting the transmission out of there, so we're gonna help Nick with his uh, little project car. Trying to get the rear bumper off. Get, just getting the trim off is a big pain in the butt. But we got it off. BMWs are great, but you can't really see in there right now, but the bolt is right here, so you can't fit a socket in. We have to use a wrench, and that's just just inconvenient. We're just not having a good time. I'm sure I'm not. This bumper's actually a big pain in the butt, because we had to just raise the car up on the lift, and we got to take the rear wheels off to get the plastic off the uh, that window. Fender well, to get into some bolts on the inside. So the lift was on the way, this plastic paneling, the bolts that we needed to get to. So we have one single jack in the center, and then the two front wheels on the ground to hold it up. So we're, we're hoping it works out. All right, so we got the fender wells off on both sides, and now we're kind of making progress from there. Still, still trying to take it off on this side. Probably can't see it. This one. If any of you guys have ever tried to take these out, it's a pain in the butt. On this car, I know on my Volvo V70R, it's a pain in the butt. It's not a good time. Now, if you can see those two bolts, we need to get those off, and then we'll see uh, 
how close we are to getting that bumper off after we get these two off. Some progress. It's dropping right off. It's probably just gonna fall right off when he gets his side done. Right under there. They're tiny. You just loosen it and twist it by hand. I know. <laughs> you Stop having good ideas. Listen, you got quite the hard wear there for that little tiny bolt. <laughs> it's not the size that matters. It's how you use it. I was using my little one really well. All right, so now you see right up in there, right up here, there's clips along the bottom we need to get, and they don't look like they're easy to get to. Bumper's jiggling. It, the whole bash bar is going to come off, too. That was dangerous. I got the stud to my turbo, and downpipe's still in my pocket. I almost lost that. What is it stuck on? Oh, it's coming out? Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. I just don't know what this is. Okay, maybe I don't. Can say with confidence we have contributed to the build of this BMW now. You guys are gonna love it when it's done.